will be discussing about voltage control oscillator which forms one of the basic building blocks which is very important in present day analog electronics. What does it comprise of? It is popularly known as VCO. It has a Schmitt trigger in loop with a multiplier and an integrator. This is called also sigma delta modulator. It's also called by communication engineers as FM generator or FSK generator depending upon whether the modulating signal is analog or digital. It is also part of mod M. Mod part of mod M is DVCO and demodulator part of mod M is nothing but a PLL containing within a loop VCO. Now we will see the actual circuit how it is to be built using a SLK kit. This uh, is going to be uh, the Schmitt trigger followed by the multiplier followed by the integrator here. Here we have the square wave coming and here we have the triangular wave coming. The frequency of oscillation is DC by 40 RC into R2 by R1 hertz. This can be easily built using the ASLK kit which has four dual op amps DL082s and uh, three multipliers MPY 634 and two multiplying DAC 7821 to facilitate uh, along with the resistive arrays and capacitive arrays any experiment uh, uh, that needs uh, these components. We have further facility for putting transistors and diodes in the protocol. Now I will quickly make the connection required for these uh, Schmitt trigger and the integrator. Integrator connection is quickly over once you connect a resistance for charging and the output of the this multiplier comes to the integrator and then we have the Schmitt trigger connection with positive regenerative feedback that is done using another op amp. This connection can be very simple and straightforward. It can be finished in very short time. We can use this board now where the demo is done. Here we have the speed trigger. This is the integrator that has been connected. This is the multiplier. And using the part, I can vary the control voltage and you can see on the oscilloscope as I increase the control voltage, the frequency is increasing. As I decrease the control voltage, the frequency is proportionately decreasing. So, this is an easy experiment that can be tried by you. We have the entire thing that can be built using this pin diagram, which is downloadable in your website. And uh, please, for every experiment, use this sheet to first connect up and then translate it over to the uh, board. To facilitate you build all the 10 experiments, the theory required is given in the manual and the accompanying CD contains the lecture regarding the theory. Please make use of this for all your understanding of the experiments. This kit actually is thoughtfully designed to cover as many of the analog principles as are possible to be understood today. And without the help of uh, any additional component or if not, minimum additional components okay, are needed for performing almost all current important experiments on analog. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to talk to you.